All right, guys, with the new Rogue Company update, Revelation, Trench players can finally be happy as he's finally getting some sort of love. Now, before we get right into that, let's talk about my thoughts on the whole update show and what they showed us. Basically, we're getting a ton of new skins. Literally, no one really asked for it, but it's, it is what it is. They gotta make their money. There's some cool skins in here, some skins I'm not really a fan of, but one of the ones I really, really enjoy is the Dallas one. Like, that Dallas one is straight up fire. Now, I'm not saying all these skins are bad, like this Kestrel one's actually pretty cool looking too. I enjoy it, but other than that, like, I don't really care for the skins all that much. They're whatever. They're just extra flair, extra swag to show off. You know, it is what it is. Now, something I am hyped for are these mastery skins. You get two of them. The first one you get is a green and a gold looking one. And then the other one is like these rainbow purple colors. And I guess it's for every single rogue. There's nothing different. Of course, the green and the gold one you will receive after you hit Rogue Mastery 8. The purple one you will receive after hitting Rogue Mastery level 9. I personally think that these are an amazing addition to the game. It just gives those players something to grind for. Something that I've been wanting in the game pretty much ever since they introduced the Rogue Mastery. But... It's a good thing that they're finally adding it. Better late than never. Uh, I've seen a lot of negative comments, a lot of negative feedback, especially like about the update and towards the devs in general. And I'm not saying I had never said anything negative about the game because I know I have and a lot of people know I have. Like I complained about forced crossplay. I complained about matchmaking, but those are understandable. But these little tweaks, these little things like a new announcer or whatever, and it's like, why? Why are you complaining about it? Like, it doesn't impact your gameplay in any way, shape, or form. All right. There's a difference between forced crossplay, where PC players should not go against console at all, and the people that are defending it are more than likely on PC itself. Now, I actually like the idea of having a new caster, like a new announcer. I just, I don't see an issue with it at all. I kind of like the idea, something new, something fresh. Uh, gadget cooldown is basically just another way to make other rogues shine. For example, those rogues that never had resupply, Vi players, runways, it's just gonna make them more viable, more options to be used in almost every single game mode honestly i just don't see an issue with it um i'm open for the idea they're adding a new perk called gadget tier where they're basically removing resupply on all these rogues and just replacing it with gadget tier they're also changing some perks here and there like stalker around a little bit you can always check out the patch notes and see if your rogue got touched or not they're nerfing hip fire of the snipers. They're nerfing objection, which doesn't make any sense to me because no one's using it. In the end, it's all fine to me. It's all, it's whatever. Now we're going to talk about Strikeout 2.0. They're talking about making it a LTM for us to give our feedback to see if we like it more than normal Strikeout. I'm not saying it's a bad idea or I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm open-minded for it. It just reminds me of a TDM hybrid. Uh, instead of lives, basically the little tickets, it's practically just best out of three instead of five. You can just think of it a shorter version of TDM. At the end of the day, it could help out those Switch players who can't play 6v6 TDM. But honestly, from my first initial thoughts, to me, it sounds cool. But at the same time, if I wanted to play that, I'd just rather play TDM. And to be honest with you, I just don't like TDM. I might just stick with the normal strikeout, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. They finally done it. They're finally bringing back extraction 
and sabotage for those people who are always asking about it people who are like hey what did you think of this game mode did you play this game mode did you like it me personally i didn't really care for either of these game modes i played them both they're all right i personally like demolition a lot more i feel like extraction or is just more casual based and sabotage is definitely like a whole different game mode entirely but i'd rather have king of the hill back in my own opinion i also noticed that they're changing up custom games a little bit and i'm fine with it just add more game modes to it for us to try out and that's fine i'm completely okay with it nothing nothing wrong here they must have seen my videos because they're finally fixing juke spots i cannot wait i'm happy for it it's a good day also everyone else is happy for this because trench your boy finally got some love like i said in the beginning of this video here he is now trench this man looks fabulous the freaking haircut the beard and to top it all off all of his classic skins they're still there so if you don't like this skin at all you can still run his classic skins nothing wrong with that there's a brand new event coming along with it with the opportunity to earn a brand new trench skin as well and honestly it's cool more lore more skins trench gets some love everyone's happy the only thing that i could say about this update show is that melee and the pistol uh weapon mastery I don't think that's coming through because they didn't say anything about it. We didn't see anything about it in the update show. And they didn't mention anything about force crossplay and matchmaking problems. But hopefully they're taking those steps towards of fixing it. Honestly, in my opinion, this update was a small W. You know, it's not the biggest W. But it is a W. It's like a lowercase W. It's not an uppercase. I have no, nothing wrong with it at all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe like and subscribe for more. Later, guys.